Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of a video of the Pokemon TCG. Oh, today we have a Zoropod deck, Glissopod and Zoroark main deck, with a few little tech options in here that I've been searching around the web, found out that I really like, especially this little card right here, the Dene. I, I just I've always liked the Dene. I think it's a really cute Pokemon. This this is a bit absurd, but I think it's a really cute Pokemon. And its attack, I think, is perfect. Electric chain here, Link. Calm down. Um, it does 30 plus. If you have an electric Pokemon on your bench, this attack does 30 more damage. So in this case, we're gonna have Tapu Kokos on our bench. Usually, 90% of the time, we'll have Taku Tapu Koko, Taku Popo on our deck, no problem, um, because he's kind of not an attacker. He's in here specifically to be able to switch with Galissapod and use the first impression for one energy for 120 slash 150 damage. Why did Dene's in here to do 60 damage? Isn't quite that obvious if you attach a choice band to him he's doing 90 to gx's it's a fairy type which means it hits dragons for weakness which means that it's one shotting rayquaza and i'm just gonna throw this out there there are other pokemon uh namely dusk no it's not dusk main uh necroz what is that it's you ultra necrozma this thing it does 180 damage to which is not a ko but there is always Tapu Koko to also hit there. That is that is an option. And I do believe we run a Rescue Stretcher in here. So if we do need to grab that out, we can again. This deck is very well-rounded, and I like it. Galissapod has been a popular... Or Galissapod Zoroark has been a popular deck ever since Tord won... Oh, God, I don't know. He won a tournament with it. I know it was a very, very big tournament. I feel like it was America Internationals. I might be incorrect about that. But people have been running this. It's been a very consistent deck. It's two stage, one Pokemon, which is perfect it's you don't need rare candies two very strong stage one pokemon with 210 uh health both of them and also armor press keeps 20 damage off so you don't use it too often but it does come in handy this is a very well-rounded deck this is another little tech option here dunce mars you only want to use him in the first like couple turns maybe maybe third turn if you're struggling there strike and run Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon and put them under your bench. That's a Bridget. And you can switch this Pokemon with one of them if you really want to. Normally, you want to play this and just sacrifice off the Dunsparce and make room on your bench. Very, very early game card. And if you end up drawing him later in the game, you have trade to get rid of him. This is why Zorak is just so good. You have these tech options that if they don't pan out in the matchup, you could just trade them away and not deal with drawing them again. Which drives me crazy. It's like Enhanced Hammer. Like Counter Catcher. Oh my god, all of these cards just come in handy. They really do. Titan Liza is an interesting tech. I don't think I like this too much. Um, it's both. It's the best of two worlds. Switch your active Pokemon with your bench Pokemon. It's a switch. And it's also shuffle. It's a, it's a Shauna. You get to choose which one you want it to be. So in certain cases, Titan Liza will be good. But four, four Guzmas I think is better. I've seen people run three of these. And it's absurd to me how that's a thing. Absurd to me. I don't think there's much more to talk about. Max Potion, very niche card. I do feel like I might be... Oh, wait, 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 What's that card called? It might be rotated out, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It is. Oh, my God. I can't remember the name of it, but the card that grabs two special energies from your disco pile and puts them into your deck. That's gone. Yo, Enhanced Hammer's just got a lot better. I'm just throwing that out there. And Gardevoir's GX attack just got a whole lot better. So if people are running like four enhanced hammers, I could just get mowed down and I can't win. I do have... Well, that's not true. I have Glissopod. And I only need one grass energy for that. If he hits all the crushing hammers and all the enhanced hammers, all eight of them, I'm screwed. I could be in massive trouble there. We're going up against Godlike, which apparently he's like a god, so we gotta we gotta be careful about that. I wanna go first. You go first in like every single matchup. We didn't hit any basic Pokemon, that kinda sucks. He didn't either. Alright, fair enough. We do run a lot of basic Pokemon in here. God dang it. You hate to see this kind of hand. He got information on what I'm running. He knows I'm running Zoroark. He doesn't see that I'm running. I mean, honestly, Tate and Liza could hint that I'm running. Glissapod, but he shouldn't know that right now. Uh, oh. We see Rare Candy. We see Energy Recycler. Immediately, I'm thinking Rayquaza, Vicavolt. Possibly Bulu Vic Vicavolt, but 
I more along the lines I've seen a lot more. Um, what's that called? Card called Rayquaza Vicavolt, which I not a fan against. Which, but we do run Dedenne, but this hand is pretty, pretty bad. We run three Tapu Lele, so we should be able to Ultra Ball out a Tapu Lele, get an Apricorn, make her dude out, and be able to get some Nest Balls going. Hopefully, we draw into. Oh, never mind. We're good. Give me two Nest Balls. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna try to get set up as soon as possible. Yeah, he's a grubbin. We still don't know if it's Bulu or not yet. Oh my god. Wow. If we grab Dunsparce, that's guaranteeing us a Dunsparce turn, turn, turn two that we could strike and run. I think we gotta play it a little bit riskier. And I'm gonna say just grab another Zorua. I do that in case I need to retreat next turn. Next turn, move the Ultra Ball for Lele to be able to grab a Cynthia or grab a Zoroark if we draw into something else. Or we could just Timer Ball, see if we can get some Zoroarks and just start drawing from there. Mysterious. What? You can get dragons off of Mysterious. I seriously thought that Mysterious Treasure was only Psychic. Oh my god. Well, he got rid of a rare candy, which might be good for us. If we could stagger this Grub in a little bit, we'll be in a good spot. He needs to be able to retreat it out, which is like a switch. He doesn't have float stones anymore. Guzma. If he gets another Rayquaza down, he could Guzma. No, he already Lily. Never mind. He could counter. No, he can't counter catch. He could escape rope. That's what he can do. That's very unlikely, though. I'm drinking tea in case you're wondering. I, I, I'm starting to get on the binge of tea. There'll be like little spurts. Oh my god, yes. He's discarded some really good stuff for me. Okay, he's not attacking this turn, that's obvious. The Dene is going to be important in this matchup. We got a Lily. So we Ultra Ball away those. Okay. Okay, that's good. We'll do that. We're going to Ultra Ball away Ace Roll and Rescue Stretcher. We do run Palpat in this deck, so I can grab the Ace Rolla back. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We could live without the Rescue Stretcher. I'm just going to straight up grab a... Wimpod. Yeah. We have, I think I checked that there was, there was two, I should have checked my prizes, I don't know why I didn't do that yet. We're going to Lily first. Draw five cards, then we could trade away. Okay, we could get rid of one of the grass energies. We're doing four to him. We really want to try getting Dedene and uh, uh, DCE. Oh my god. Okay. Tate and Liza. Something good, please. I'm not one-shotting anything. This is like 30 times the amount of energy. That's so... That's so much damage that he could just burst on. Thank God Max Elixir are no longer a thing. So straight up right now, he's doing 90 damage. Uh, choice band 120. Attach 150. All he needs is another Rayquaza. He's already got like... He's only got one. He's got the perfect amount of energies in there. God dang. We're going to get damage on you. So that if you evolve him into a Vicavolt this turn. Which he has gotten rid of one Vicavolt and one Ray Candy. Let, let the... I don't know how much they run... How heavy they run Vicavolt in this deck. Like how much like Rare Candy and all that kind of stuff is. But the following turn, we have Guzma to grab him. If we could stagger his energy acceleration, we might just be able to survive. Is he grabbing the Wimp Pod? Yeah, that's fine. We're going to target down that uh, Grubbin. That's doing 120. I have no way of one-shotting you without Dedene. Do I risk it trying to go for the Dedene? I haven't even checked if Dedene is prized or not. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. I think I'm going to Guzma grab the Grubbin. I think that's just too good at this point. Actually, I could just counter catch her. I'm going to trade away the Ultra Ball. I, I kind of want to trade away the Zoroark, but at the same time, no. I don't. Field Blower is important for Wishful Baton. Okay. Grass Energy. We still have one more remaining in our deck. I 
I think Guzma grab this guy is just good here. I want to save the counter catcher. He's doing 120. He needs to attach and get a choice band. It's pretty likely. Hmm. I think counter catcher was just a better play there. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it more. It's too likely that he gets down enough energy to knock out my Tapu Lele. I, I don't think that was smart. Yeah, that was dumb. I should have just counter catchered. I should have taken that chance. Ah, uh, this is too risky. All he needs is a Rayquaza or a Choice Ban and an energy from hand. He goes down to three prizes. This does allow me to, if he does take the knockout, grab another Grubbin if he places it on the bench. But at that point, he might have too many energies already down that he doesn't need to. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't played Rayquaza too much yet. I think I've only played like two games against it. So my knowledge of it is very limited. Um, but if he doesn't knock out this Lele and we're able to ace a roll, I think we just straight up win. I don't think he'll be able to keep up with me. I think we just take such a tempo lead that it's not going to pan out well for him. And I don't stagger in this deck. Unless I get very unlucky. <laughs> very unluckily. Very unlucky because I have Zoroark GX trade, at trade ability. So him relying on staggering is not going to look... Is he not even like playing right now? I'm fine with that. <laughs> if you want to leave and just give me the free win, I'm, I'm okay. All right. Lame. That is actually really lame. It's kind of unfortunate. Let's get you down. We're going to dig for... Dig for the... Uh, I was checking how many cards I have in my hand. I'm used to playing Hearthstone. Four, six. I think we just keep digging. We'll get rid of the escape rope. I don't want to get rid of Zoroark because I only have one remaining. That's the last one. God dang, dude. All right. The Dene, there you are. We'll grab those two for the following turn. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're safe just to get some damage down on this guy. This is, what, 100 damage? Yeah, that's fine. We don't need to add any more choice band, plus that does 70 more. That's not enough for a knockout, so there's no point in doing it. Okay, we won. Cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's hard to judge if I was going to win that or not. Oh, wait, wait. Shiny check on the shop it. Not a shiny shop it. Um, that's hard to judge. It would have all... It all came down to that turn... I, I misplayed. I should have just straight up knocked him out with Zoroark. And used Counter Catcher. But that was really, really dumb of me. Yeah, but the following turn was the big play. If he took the knockout on Lele, I could... Ooh, Tapu Koko's a nice... And an S-Ball, okay. Um, if he was able to strike back, we've been so much... Wow! These sleeves look so weird! They don't even look like sleeves. Okay, another grubbin. This isn't the same guy, I don't think. Um, we grab. This is actually a time where I'd prefer going second. Dang. We had kind of the dream start, actually. Well, just Mallow here instead of for next turn. We're gonna want an Apricorn Maker, probably. Uh, we have one Nest Ball, one Timer Ball. I guess we could do that the following turn. Get a Zoroark. No, we have a Zoroark. We don't need to worry about that. I think straight up grabbing Nest Ball. We're going to trade into the second card. So I don't want a Nest Ball first. So what's the second card that I want? Probably Cynthia. You know what, let's just grab two, two basics out of this. We'll grab Nestle so we thin out the deck a little bit and grab Wimpod. <laughs> nah, I think Cynthia's just smarter. It's less risky. Yeah. We'll do that. And not attach here. I don't know what kind of deck he is. If it is Vikavolt, Vikavolt has 150 HP. So doing 20 damage to him isn't going to mean anything. Because I'm not able to do 130 damage. Let's see. It's, he's not grabbing Rayquaza. This is Bulu. Can I, I haven't seen a Bulu yet. Can I see a type of Bulu? I want Bulu to be good. I think that's going to be the next deck I do is trying to make a Bulu deck. I haven't tried him since the standard rotation, so maybe he's good. 
we can hope. I mean, Bulu is my baby. My favorite Tapu out of them all. Really? That feels very counterproductive. None of that seems smart. You do you, buddy. You do you. We are going to trade away the rescue stretcher. We got the Cynthia. We got Dunsparce. I don't think Dunsparce is worth it. I don't think so at all. We can't knock out with the Dene here, unfortunately. I have no way of retreating Zoroark out. Yeah, without bringing up the Grubbin. So it's just smarter to build up our bench a little bit. Um, we're going to attach this. And... I mean, we don't need to Choice Band here. Choice Band, I think, is... It thins up my deck a little bit. That's fine. Choice Band's only going to be really, really valuable with the Dene, I think, in this matchup. Because we're not one-shotting anything. Uh, we're going to Timer Ball just to thin out the deck a tiny bit. Or not. Or not. Yeah, or not. That's fine. I'm really unlucky. Like, I'm 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 average luck, I'll be honest here. Like, I don't brag about being unlucky, but when it comes to timer balls, I am terrible with the flips. I'm really bad. The only two the only things that I have really bad luck with, why? Do you have like four Guzmas in hand? You went to Nashville. You obviously know what you're doing. The only like two things I have really bad luck with is timer and playing against Sableye Mill. Whenever I go up against Sableye Mill, I can't, I get put to sleep every single time, and I hate it. I'm that's why I started playing it because I hated it, hated it so much that I wanted to do it to other people. Sickness. Um, enhanced hammer is useless during this matchup. I think straight up, I'm just going to ultra ball away. <sighs> We're getting rid of enhanced hammer. And choice band. We have two more for the Dene. It'll be fine. And we're going to go ahead and grab a Lele. Because I want to... Well, I need a Pokemon on the bench regardless. But I want to go through uh, my deck a little bit more before I start trading. And we're going to grab Cynthia. Ah, Cynthia's better here. Yeah, this hand is not what I'm looking for. I want to get a brand new hand. Lily will draw, just draw me four more cards. It would be better if I like these cards were good, but they're not. Dunsparce is fine. We'll trade away the Dunsparce. We just need a DCE here or like a switch or something. Okay, that's not bad. It's not looking too promising for me. I need a DCE. Nope. You hate to see it. All right. I'm just going to build up a bench a little bit. That's all I can do right now. Yeah. That's all I can do. Unfortunate play there. I couldn't get my Zorark out. I guess I could have Tatan Lizard and grabbed him. And just knocked him out. It's unfortunate. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're not going to worry about it too much. He's not in a good spot, especially because he's not grabbing <laughs> something like Skyla to grab a rare candy. As long as we know he's not grabbing that, we're fine. And if he's not able to get... Well, it doesn't look like he'll be able to get this grubbin out of... If, we're, if he's not able to grab that and we're able to ultra ball out Glissapod and we could Guzma grab him. Yeah, we were in too good of a spot. But can I get a game where we actually play? Please? Please? And then after that good game, we will up and open those packs? Thank you very much. Another Gardevoir. Oh boy. I'll have five untradeable Gardevoir non-good arts at all. We're going against Luis. Luis GG's. He's very confident. I don't think he should be because I see water over here. Whenever I see water, I think Galissapod's going to destroy you. But not all water types are weak to grass. I think, like, all technical water types that are in this game are. But then there's also, like, the shared typing with ice types, which then become uh, weak to uh, steel. Oh, wow. I run so many basic Pokemon in this deck. I shouldn't be mulliganing as much as I have. I think I mulliganed once, exactly once, every single game so far. That's, that's, the odds seem really low on that. Okay, dude, pick your, pick your thing. There you go. So it looks like he's got a basic in hand, probably. He debated about that for a second. All right, we got Zorua. Yeah, exactly once, every single time. We got Cynthia, we got Ultra Balls, we got some forms of opportunity here. 
If I see grass, I feel like choice band's gonna be useless during or not grass. If I see water, I feel like choice bands are gonna be useless during this matchup. Doing 150 damage. Actually, with Galissapod, we could do 180, which knocks out a Tapu Lele. Galissapod, we could do 180 with uh, the GX move. Fortunately for us, he got a Tapu Lele start, which is majority of the time the worst start you can have. Ooh, okay. That's a little Ninetales, assuming. Let's see what else he gets rid of. I'm, right now, we're just going to assume that it's a Lola Nine. What did he just get rid of? Greninja. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. If I remember correctly, Frogadier does 20 damage to any of your other opponent's Pokemon. So we just want to make sure that we never get a surprise KO uh, on the bench with, like, uh, Wimpod. Yeah, I can't grab anything with that. Uh, one Zoroark. Ah, one Wimpod. You hate to see it. Uh, anything else? One timer ball? That's fine. I have terrible luck with it anyways. Uh, no Guzmas. One Cynthia. So that's two. Mm, I only saw three that I know are prized. I don't know the exact count on uh, things here. On the deck, because I haven't played with it enough. But it looks like more than I would like. We're going to Ultra Ball away. <sighs> yeah, Choice Bands aren't going to be useful, uh, useful during this other than on that Tapu Lele. And I'll take the bet that that's not going to be too come in too much to play. Yeah, we're playing Wimpod. We got to evolve him as soon as possible so he's not able to get like a crazy Greninja knockout with him. <laughs> We don't ever attach the DCE to the Zorua because he just gets knocked out by this thing. Mainly, he wants to beacon this turn. Why did he attach a choice band to? Uh, not exactly sure about that. But we don't want to attach a DCE anywhere. No, that was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. Ah! So, if he gets a Frogadier down this turn, and he's able to somehow get Tapu Lele to attack Wimpod, which it doesn't look like he's going to, we would have been in trouble there. Like I said, that's the only Wimpod I have. Did I, I got rid of... Yeah, no, I didn't get rid of Rescue Stretcher. That was the last game that I got rid of the Rescue Stretcher. Judge, that's fine. We had four cards anyway. Unfortunate thing is that Beacon's going to be super annoying. Okay. We got bailed out by all the supporters in the world. If we could top deck a, a Zoroark, we'd be living large right now. This guy's scary. He's really scary. That Ice Path GX is super annoying to play around. And that Ice Blade is super annoying to play around too. This is a cool idea for a deck. I never thought about Greninja Alola Ninetales. Beacon makes it so much more consistent. God dang. That is... Beacon's like one of the best moves in the game. He got Grin or Frogadier and a, a Rangaroo. Oh, beautiful. That's what happens when you ask nicely for things. The question is, do we want to judge here or no? We can judge if we want to. I think Cynthia. We got a dick for the... The... The DCE, so we could take a knockout this turn at least. Okay, we really got the DCE. Perfect. Beautiful. Max Potion is going to be important. I'm going to get rid of Lele here. Next turn we have Mallow if we need it. So we're in a safe spot at least. Enhanced Hammer, I do believe I'm 90% sure he's going to be running DCEs. For Greninja GX as well. Yeah. So Enhanced Hammer is going to be important. We're not getting rid of that anytime soon. We could trade? No, we can't trade. We already used it. Just try to speed him for knockout. Now we could be a little bit afraid of... Ooh. Um, we could be a little bit afraid of the... What is it called? Uh, Countercatcher. Okay, that's doing 20. Dang. That's a KO. 
All he needs is one more energy. Don't have the energy. Oh, he's he's digging. Oh, he's digging. Dang it, he didn't have it, but he he had a Rangaroo for at least another card if he didn't have that Lily. Oh, okay, this is going to put us so far behind. This is really bad, honestly. The good thing about this is it does discard two energy from uh, this Alolan Ninetales, so he can struggle a little bit. But dang, dude. Hmm, not fun. Okay, let's think this play these this following turn out. If I bring up Galispod, we're doing 30 damage. That's basically nothing. We can follow it up in the following turn. I think it's actually safe to bring up Galispod in just straight up first impression. For 30 damage. That plays around the ice path. That plays around Ice Blade. I don't see him being able to knock this guy out. So the following turn, we could attach a DCE and Crossing Cut GX with a... It's so risky. Or we could just do 100 to him. Yeah. Or judge him. Uh, nah. Not sure how I feel about this, but I think it is the correct play. We got Tapu Coco. This is just this seems like such a good deck right now, honestly. God, playing around that stupid stupid ice path is gonna make this so much harder. I'm trying to force out the ice path. That's my goal right now. If we could do that, I'll be happy. We could Tapu Lele. We can uh grab Acerola. Patch, damn, dude, you're nuts. You're absolutely insane. I don't have to read Greninja GX again. He's grabbing it. Three damage, yeah. You may shuffle this 140 or 110, 140 total is what he's doing with that right now. Choice band makes it 170. That's a knockout. He's used two choice bands, one on the Alolan Vulpix, one on the Alolan Ninetales. None he's gotten rid of. Oh my, I got like Link's hair in my nose and now it itches like crazy. I mean, if he gets, ah, oh, Link, stop it. If he gets a Greninja GX, I'm in trouble. Like that also does 30 more damage. Actually, no, I'm taking 20 less too. So 160 is still a knockout. Wait, no, 150 is not a knockout. <laughs> So he needs like a lot of different things here. I think he's grabbing the Greninja. So let's do the math. If he grabs Greninja, we'll be at 180. Does he have the Greninja? Why wouldn't he grab the Greninja? Is it all prized? Wow, that'd be super unlucky. Wow, okay. Um, hmm. Did not expect that. Did not expect that one bit. I think we actually Guzma grab and knock him out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We're doing that. I want to know what his prizes are, though. Or how many Greninjas does he play? He's got to play at least three, right? No choice band. You go for first impression knockout. He is weak to it, yeah. It says 240. Okay. That was a big swing turn. We got a Zoroark, that's really good. If he brings this back up. Brought the Lele up. Lele, I could one shot. That's doing five times ten. That's doing a hundred right now. I don't think he wants to use a choice band on this Lele. It's not a knockout. He would need Greninja choice band. That'd be an extra 60 damage. That would be a knockout. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like this so far. <laughs> I don't like this at all. He can't, like this th This deck has so much math where it could just knock me out randomly and I hate it. 
I really hate it. But if he doesn't knock me out this turn, we can Malo grab. Oh. We've used two choice bands. I can't search through my deck. We've used two. I didn't check if the third one was prized or not. I'm just going to hope that it's not. I think it is, actually. Oh, it's not. <gasps> I'll grab a DCE just to develop the bench a little bit more, too, while we're at it. I'm going to trade away the Apricorn Maker, because we don't need that. I actually should have probably grabbed a Zoroark. That was a misplay. Do this, place it on you. And we're going to cross and cut GX for the knockout and switch out to Tapu Koko. Okay, so now he's done to one prize, which is perfect. Wimpod, Wimpod? Nope. Wimpod's my last. Oh, no, no, it's not. Never mind. I only run two. Um, this is perfect because even if he evolves this into Greninja, he's sitting there 120 health. Zark with a full bench is doing 120 health, so all we need is Guzma, which I think I've used two? No, I've only used one. Never mind, we're good. And he's taking Lysane for five cards. We won. This could have gone drastically different with just one more... He did have a Greninja GX. He didn't take a prize card after that. What? Dude. What? Was he playing that conservatively? That was not the time to play conservatively. He's taking the knockout on this thing? Really? Does he have a plan that I just don't see? Countercatcher? Countercatcher actually wins him the game. Guzma? Did he use a supporter yet? Did I just lose this game? If he Guzmas and grabs this top of Layla, I'm in so much trouble. Oh, thank God. Okay, now we have a chance at least. We need to dig. We have 28 cards in our deck. Three Guzmas. We have... One timer ball, two ultra balls for not Lele, but Zoroark to get another draw in. Alright. Palpet's not gonna be that necessary here. Ultra ball. <laughs> okay. I do want the field blower. I do think the field blower is going to be way too important here. <laughs> then out the deck a little bit more. 25 cards. 3 and 25 each turn. 3 and 25, 3 and 24. Odds seem stacked against me right now. Please. Please, Guzma. That wasn't a Guzma. Okay. I don't, I, no, I wasn't grabbing anything. I just wanted to get that card gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just want to thin out my hand, honestly, in case he judges me or anything like that. I'm going to grab Zoroark, because why not? Actually, let's grab uh, Dunsparce. <laughs> Put a little Dunsparce. I think I just lost here. If he has a Guzma, he is the... Well, he needs a Guzma, and he needs a Choice Band. That's why I wanted to hold on to the Field Blower. He's used three. I feel like the math adds up to so good that you have to run four Choice Bands. This attack does 130 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's not KOing anything. The only KO I see is Guzma, Alola Ninetales... Even Guzma, he has to be able to retreat into it. And I don't think Greninja GX has free retreat. It doesn't. He needs to attach to the Tapu Lele or any... Oh my god. Okay, we're still in this game. I mean, we're technically still in this game. 
if he has a counter catcher and a choice band, we lose. There's still so many outs that he has. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We have two grass energies as well. <sighs> okay. Um... <laughs> we have a few chances for this. I guess we're going to go with it. Uh, we're going to bring up Lele, right? Yeah, bring up Lele because it's got one retreat cost. We now have Dunsparce to fill up the bench too. Sadly enough, I have to bench Dunsparce. Poor guy. <sighs> okay. Uh, I get, we get rid of the Nest Ball, yeah. At least if this game goes on, we still have a chance for Enhanced Hammer to be useful. Nest Ball, we don't. Come on, game. <laughs> Come on! 3 of 14! Thank you! Ha! Oh, my goodness! Ah, oh, feels good. We'll bring up Galissapod, because why not? Attach. More, a little bit more BM. You know what I'm saying? You need a little bit more BM. That was unnecessarily close. I do like that deck, though. I do want to try that deck out 100%. The math on so many things on in that deck is so... It feels good. I want to be able to use that. Choice Band, Greninja GX, Alolan... Like, even just playing... Like, I... One of the best tournaments I ever went to, like, that I competed in was, like, a League Cup where I came in second and I ran Alolan Ninetales. It was such a good deck. Just straight Alolan Ninetales. It was when Guardians Rising first came out. It was just so dirty. Like, having having your opponent having to, like... Sticking Ice Path in your opponent's head was just so nice. It was so good. Uh, I meant to go to the shop. I, I thought I already bought the pack for some reason. We have 306 uh, coins, so we might as well buy a pack. Because I still need cards from this set. I'm good on Rayquazas, but there's, like... I want Shift Tree GX... Uh, I want full arts of everything, so yeah, there's still a lot of stuff, but I think Shift GX is the main. I I do want Stack Attacka. I'll Stack Attacka. Um, this card's actually interesting. I dig it. Assembly GX, this attack does 50 more damage. That's a good game finisher, but like you mainly want to use this with the uh, uh, that was a good, uh, really good pack. You mainly want to be using this with. I don't. Nagandal? There it is. Nagandal. That's how you say it. Uh, Beast Raid. You could use Steel Energies in the deck because you're going to be attacking with Beast Raid. 20 times the amount for each of your Ultra Beasts in play. If you have 6, that's doing 120. Very similar to Glissopod's stats. And with Stack Attacker, you're taking 10 less damage per turn. Just good combo. I actually never wrote Stinger GX. Both players shuffle their prize cards into their deck. Then each player puts the top 3 cards of their deck face down as their... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. Very niche. Not really good. I, I, it's not good. It's interesting. It allows you to come back, too, because it says top three cards. So if you're down six to one <laughs> and you Stinger GX, it's 3-3. Three, three, so, I mean, niche, interesting, cool, fun. Get rid of that because it was driving me crazy. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and get out of here. <gasps> you knuckleheads.